how to attract jobs. So I'll jump straight into it. Kids are in bed, so I've got to be a bit quiet. Um, but I'm just trying to help new people to the industry or older people to the industry that stuck using a pen and paper constantly, try and use things a bit more digitally. Did digitally. Um, I you take my iPad with me to work religiously and my phone's attached to my hip constantly because of work. Um, so obviously I've done a few videos on Tradeify before about how to quote, invoice, that sort of stuff. But today I'm going to use uh, the app and show, run you through um, how to How do I track my jobs? So tracking your jobs through the different stages of from quoting it to then accepting the quote to then start from tracking of in progress, how you time it, then at the end when you finish the job, what happens then? So I'll sort of jump straight into it. Um, a few things to mention first is when I had any queries or questions with Tradeify, um, they actually do have a local uh, UK team on the phone constantly. So I've been speaking to uh, Colt a few times. He's helped me out big time, push me forward, get a bit more information from him of how to use the app better. Um, and he was asking, you know, is it just you, do you a big team? Because like I said in previous videos, this can be used as a sole trader app or it can be used for a business that has up to like 20 people working for him. So if you haven't seen the other videos, if you have this app, you can then use it as a scheduler for you know six seven guys that work for you on their phones they you can then push jobs to them they can see the description where customer's name um which is really cool and also as well you can also hide the costings for the job so they just get given bare minimum information as in this is what you need to do this is where it is jobs are good and if you're ever worried about being you know the uh, employer of seeing how much you know that you're making per job um, so which is quite a cool little thing. Obviously, I don't need to use that as of yet, but it's coming. So I'll, um, I'll jump straight to my iPad and uh, we'll get cracking. So I'm recording this on the iPad. It's pretty much this, this bit is pretty much exactly the same as it would be on the web. So um, this is actually your job archive. So left hand side will be all the jobs. And then on the right hand side is the job that I've clicked on. So, so in the jobs area on the left hand side, you can see all the jobs that we've got active at the moment. So from that, you can see the different colors, but we'll get into that later. That's just the different sort of um, statuses they are. Uh, from there, you can see the names, their addresses, uh, a little bit of information about each job. Um, so it's quite a nice little brief summary of what's there on the first page. So now I'm just gonna make create a new job. So click bottom left, open your job up. So best thing about this, you can add as much or as little uh, information as you want for each customer. Um, so what we'll do actually, we'll actually search for a customer and that will bring up all their information sort of address and that, but bits and bobs. And then from there, so what you can do is job statuses and that will show you all the different statuses that you can have. So in progress on hold, to invoice completed or cancelled. So it's quite a handy little thing to have to keep track of what jobs are where in what situation. We'll add from that is uh, obviously if you take action of to invoice it prompts you then to go right okay we'll uh, get an invoice out there. Uh, so I just popped onto the low category well sorry category one which is low priority but this is actually completely customizable so like category two service installation call out you can just change that to whatever you want which will ever suit you, you know, what type of work you do. So from that, we'll go on to description, do a brief overview of the work entailed. Sorry, I write really slowly. Right, so that's in there. So from that as well, we can then go on to tasks the jobs um, it's if it's a bigger job uh, and you need to remind yourself there's a key port part to that job uh, and you need to obviously take it off as and when the job's being done you can just put stuff in here so replace old switchboard fuse board whatever um, and then that will remind you while you're doing it, you need to take it off click across completed done tick so you know that's done on that big one also as good as well is 
bit lower down there's uh, places to put information about the customer as well or bits and bobs used so you can just like say serial number this is the part and model of something that I used so it's just little bits that you can keep track of and keep uh, keep information of it to keep on top of things so what is one of my favorite things is the amount of information you can actually get on one uh, screen should we say instead of on loads of different bits of paper like I said before that you would end up losing um, that one job has as much information as you can possibly want literally at your fingertips the next cool little thing is a timer so when you turn up at a job you can click start timer um, so there's no guesswork of oh I actually I turned up at half ten there actually it was quarter to ten start that as soon as you arrive on site and then from as soon as that's done you'll see that the job status is in progress so you can register it if you're not a huge fan of using the timer, you can also turn around and put a timesheet on it. So just click on timesheet, you can enter there, time you started, time you finished, the date, um, sort of hours. And like once again, once you put that in there, it will not show the costs to your employees of how much you're charging out and whatnot. Next, if you go over to costs, this is where you can put your materials in. A um, few cool little features about this, once you put your materials in, it obviously links it all below and then you can have uh, like a, a good structure to see of which jobs you're earning more money on than others. Um, so it, it's a good overview to see, which you wouldn't get on pen and paper really. So if I just click on this one, uh, add a new item, if I search for... I do 1.5 mil quantity 10 meters then that'll come down there and you'll see once you've put the cost in from the wholesaler it'll come below and it'll give you a brief overview of the cost and what you need to invoice okay now we go back to the timer stop timer there we go and that should now take you to your timesheet so you need to double check you're happy with everything so once that's all done if you want to then, like we have done previous videos, if you want to add a photo, so more information to a job, click down, add photo, take photo. So, ooh, cheeky little uh, promo code there for you guys. So that is now added to the job uh, in the note section. So we'll put a note on there as well. So what I've liked to a few times before is on certain jobs, when I go to quote, I take a picture of the old fuse board and I want to share that, let's say, with admin so they know what's going on. A little thing that I haven't had use for, but for larger businesses especially, you can actually create um, purchase orders. So if you've got a big bill coming in, um, you can create purchase orders and sort of track that going through towards the end. It's just up there on the top and right side. Once that job's all ready, you can save it. So what I've gone back to is my customers. One little quirky thing. So if I click on my customer here, this they will then bring up all the previous jobs I've done for them. Whether they've been invoiced, they've been paid, I'm tracking it. Um, and it should go through the dates, the description, the photos on each one, and it'll tell you exactly what you've done, at what time. And also I find this quite handy as well, if you then have warranties on your jobs you do so if I fit an outside light and the outside light's gone within the year or two years whatever the warranty is that I have for fitting or supplying stuff I can then easily track that job and that material exactly when it went in which is very very useful sometimes so that's pretty much it uh, for tracking jobs in a nutshell uh, you obviously can go in more in depth with this but this is a brief overview of how to do it how I've been doing it you off you know, the old pen and paper to using your tablets and your smartphones and helping you do as much as you can on the go all in one place. So I hope that was quite insightful of, you know, how to use the, the software, how it will benefit yourself, time management. It saved me a lot because I used to have that many pieces of paper spread around with different writing on and this and that and the kids would end up scribbling on one. Um, it was saved to my phone, it was saved to my iPad, it's then saved to my desktop. So you know, it's it's beneficial for not losing customers' details, which I was quite terrible at to start with, let's be honest. Um, if it is useful for you, you've got the 14-day free trial, um, and then that, if that does work for you, you can use my code, which is Bundy. Um, this is just for my viewers only. Um, you'll then get 50% off your first three months as well, so go and check it out. Um, if there's any other information you want on Tradeify, any other little videos that you want me to do, uh, so let me down. Let me know down below. 
and um, I see if I can put something together for you of uh, another sort of how-to or step-by-step -step guide of um, using, using the, um, the app. Cheers guys.